Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's video. So today we're going to be making a lantern. I'll pop up a photo just here so you can see which one we are going to be making today. Um, here is the die set here. This is the shaped lantern die set and this is part of my brand new Christmas collection. And I'll also be teaming it up with the big bow die set and there's going to be a quick make after this lantern to make it into a pedestal and that's going to be a scoreboard make so make sure you watch until the end and I'll be showing you exactly how to make it onto a little stand okay so here is the die set here I've just tipped everything out and I've got everything cut out here so I'll be going through everything so you get nine dies and you also get this star trellis die as well if you wanted to make this um, into like a, um, a star lantern okay so here we have the main piece here this is the side you need to cut four of those and I'm going to be finishing off the last panel with you guys so four of those and we have these shaped panels here this is what's going to make the top bit and um, have it all like shaped and sloped so you need to do four of each so I've got four of those and four of those and if you wanted to you can add red tape just along here I'm going to use glue because I can um, edit this video and speed it up basically but normally I would use tape for demonstrating and there are some very very small areas just here so um, use some extra thin tape here for those areas okay and then we have this long section here cut one of those we have the large square just here you could cut one of those and um, you can cut two if you add the when we add these panels together you can pop them underneath and then if you have it that way you'll have to get another square to cover that up I'm hoping you can see because this is all black card but I really wanted to make a matching pedestal lantern to match my other one today um, or you can add your tape or glue just to the um, outside part of the tab and then just glue it straight onto there and then you won't have to cover the bottom okay so that is one of the options and then grab yourself some vellum or acetate acetate will be see-through vellum will give that um like a glowy sort of look three by three cut four of those just use a paper trimmer for that okay i think that's all of the instructions so far for the dies um i do have this extra die here as well you can use this to add um uh, the, the top half of the lid okay let's start again the lid that I'm going to be making today comes on and off the lantern it comes on and off but if you want to make it into a hinge lid you can use this die there I'm hoping that explains it okay so I've just cut four of these and I just need to finish off one more so you do get two squares in the die set one of the larger ones and then there's a smaller one here so to make the window you need to use a smaller one I'm just going to grab my big shot out as well. I'm using my magnetic platform here. That is going to keep everything um, in place. Okay, this is lifting up a bit because I've already folded the score lines on that, so that's going to lie nice and flat now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of extra space here compared to this up to this score line here because we have to take into account this side tab if that's really going to bother you you can trim down the side tab if you think that it's going to get in the way and I'm just going to double check my height because I kind of want a nice neat lantern so that looks like it's in the right place so let's run that through Okay, so that has gone through and all I need to do now is find my bit of vellum that's kind of disappeared. I'm going to pop this on the back side. So the easiest way to do this is just to grab some glue. This is Cosmic Shimmer in a little bottle. I'm hoping these little bottles are back in stock because I know they did sell out, but hopefully they'll be back. I will link them anyway and when they do come back in stock, it will be there um, and keep your pin in there as well okay so if you're using this is vellum 
and if you are using acetate use double sided tape because if any glue gets on the window of the acetate it's really hard to get off and it's just a lot easier just to use the tape because it's just safer that way okay so now we are ready to pop this together if you wanted to use the stars you can do just run that through obviously without the window popped in so that would be the stage where you'd run that through to get the star panel okay so let's assemble all I'm going to do I'm going to speed this up what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue just to the bottom there and I'm going to add it and go all the way around and then I will assemble the sides I'll add glue up to the sides and then that will give me the complete box Okay, so I've got myself a little box there. I've got a little mark there that will have to be on the back side of the lantern. That, that will dry clear, but it might leave a slight mark. And so what I did was I did add glue to all of my sides and then pop them together. But do not do that if you're in a hot room or it's a hot day, something like that, because your glue will dry first. But it's coming up to winter here. It's not too hot in my room, thank goodness. And I was able to get that all popped together before it dried okay let's pop this aside now and let's start working on these shaped sections here so we have four each of each one so what we're going to do is we're going to glue these together okay so all you have to do is match them up so we have this long long tab here it goes on the long side along there just like that okay now this section here that actually needs to be folded out that way because as you can see that is what's going to create the shape of the lantern it will all come to um, together it'll be clear to you once um, we assemble it bit by bit this sort of way and it's a lot easier to do it this way I've assembled this in many different configurations and this is the easiest way that I found Okay, so I'm adding some glue now to these little tabs here. So we have it in this shape, this orientation. We have a tab at the top here, and we also have a tab just on the side there. So we're joining these little ones here on the corner there just to go around and create our base like that first. And then we will join up the last lot at the top and that is what's going to make this 3D. Okay, so we are almost there. It's starting to look like this. Don't worry, the um the glue will dry clear. Um, right so we have these little tabs here just on the side and we're just going to add our glue there just to that edge and then you will need to kind of get your a finger in there and just press that shut whilst the glue dries again if you don't have much luck with glue use red tape
Okay, so while I'm just holding that to dry, I'm going to show you my next step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some red cardstock. I'm going to die cut um, one of these bows here. So I'm, I can't remember. I need to look at the photo again for which base I use for the bow because I want it to match exactly. I think it might have been this one. Um, so I cut one of, one of the bases, either one of these two, one of these, and um, one of these little sections here. And then I will be right back to show you how to put the bow together and how to finish this off oh there was one little step i have missed we're almost done now we have something that now looks like this and i'm just going to use some tape for this just because it's so much easier um what size do i need i'm gonna go for this one okay so before we do that just fold everything up like that there is a score line along here, but that score line is literally just a guideline, so you, um, it won't make a lot of difference if you actually fold it, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to add red tape to the smaller of the sections. I will show you on the die because this is a black piece of card and you're not going to be able to see it. I have just added tape along this bottom section here. I've left this top section free just along the bottom okay use a bone folder just press oh, there's something stuck to that just press everything down that pushes the adhesive right into the cardstock take off the backing and now we can just place this around the outside so you can literally just line everything up these sections here are the same width as these top sections these top flaps there so it will fit exactly around Just to seal it, add a bit of glue. Just that last little tab there. And then press that closed. There we go, all, the, all important, put this away. Okay, so in order to get my bow together, I am gonna use hot glue. So I'm just gonna fire that up, plug it in, and then I will be back in just a moment but just before i go i'm just going to pop that on there there we go there is our lantern it's almost done we can almost get away with that but we want to add some more decorations and make it christmasy Okay, there is the bow. Let's get this on here just like that. Okay, there, that is looking really festive now. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage. Keep your glue gun on, grab yourself a black piece of A4 cardstock. I'm going to cut this down to four and four and a half inches and I'm going to keep the length just as it is. Now you can adjust the sizes of this, like the height if you want to trim it down you can do. So four and a half. Grab a scoreboard.
hoping that is not going to be too bright. Let's create a bit of shadow there. Okay, so we're going to score at one. These are really easy measurements. Two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to turn it the once. Going to score at one. Turn it around again. We're going to score again at one. And that is it. However, um, don't worry about writing these down. They are very simple measurements. Um, there will be a blog post for this project as well with all of like the, the score the scoring and cutting guide for this um, pedestal section so grab yourself a bone folder I don't think I pressed hard enough on these this is quite a thick black card so just do your best We should now have something that looks like this with a long thin strip up there so we're going to lose these little sections here on either side so let's cut those off and then I'm going to taper that tab do the same on the other side I'm gonna hold this out so you can see where we're at you should have something that now looks like that with the tab along the bottom now we need to cut into these sections but I'm not going to do any tapering at all I'm just going to go up to that score line do the same on the other side there we go right so let's add some glue just gonna go across this tab here I've just refilled this so quite a bit of glue is coming out okay so I'm just going to fold this in and I'm going to close that up just like that okay so that has now given us this little tube so all we have to do now is just fold these in you can add glue as you go And just make sure on the last one you add glue all over and seal that closed same on the other side okay we now have our pedestal that is going to be joined onto there with some glue but we need a base now so I do have a little bit of grey board here which also goes by the name of chipboard that's mostly in the US it's called chipboard so don't be confused if you buy some chipboard in the UK and you get sent a, a bit of wood um, I'm just looking for my chipboard now because I have put it somewhere Here it is, and this is basically the kind of stuff that you get on the back of paper pads. So if you have any paper pads, here we are, there's a bit of chipboard, or grey board, on the back of that. So just have a look at your paper pads and see what you can find. Now I don't know how much this is, this is one of my off cuts. So this measures 6 and 1 8 by 5 and seven eighths that's not exactly a square but I'm gonna get away with it so I'm gonna leave that out I need some black card now here we go same black card just like that we're gonna glue that on we're just gonna do a very very simple wrap for this so I'm going to do this really quickly so pop that down there we go grab a paper trimmer or you can use scissors for this I've left round about 
half an inch border around you can go for something a little bit wider if you want to right now we need to train our cardstock to go around because if you don't do that it's going to kind of want to just unfold again so we're just going to take that around there and then press it round it gives the cardstock a little bit of a memory on what you want it to do okay now we've done that I am going to add some red tape here I'm going to be using red tape and glue because this this is quite a fibrous um, surface and sometimes things just don't want to kind of stay stuck to it so red uh, Tim Tim Holtz scissors for the red tape there because they can get gunky and I'm adding this red tape before I trim off or mitre the corners because I want edge to edge uh, tape basically I don't want to kind of try and fit my tape on there afterwards and try and cut it to shape it's a lot easier doing it this way okay remember that trick I said use your bone folder press it right down okay so take your scissors you can use ordinary scissors now because the tape is now stuck to the card we are going to cut these corners off but I'm not going to go right up to the corner here I'm going to leave around about an eighth of an inch off just like that I'm hoping you'll be able to see there is a gap there I haven't gone right up to the corner that is going to give us a really good fold when we wrap it wrap this cardstock around the corner I, think I might need just to take a slither off that one there we go right now we are almost there these are all going to wrap around so I'm going to do two sides and then the other two so I'm going to work with the opposites so take off your backing and I'm just going to add some glue just here it will still stick it just means that it's least uh, likely to unwrap itself once you have this down due to the nature of this chipboard okay that is the first one down I'm using my bone folder to help me with that as well add your glue I'm not adding too much either okay press that down and now we're going to move over to the fun bit okay take your backing tape off the third one and as you can see we have a little bit of a gap here an overlap here where we have the the corner so the bit of this section here that overlaps just press that in or press it flatten it um, just get it out of the way just make sure it's flat do the same on the other side as well add your glue and then fold that over and as you can see that has given us some really nice and neat corners so do the same on the other side take off your backing get your bone folder right in that corner there and squish it down flat you can even kind of push it inwards as well add your glue so this will be the same sort of thing when you're making a mini album cover okay. squash everything down press it down really hard now if you want to um, I'm going to have to get some more cardstock out. You can cut another piece here just to cover that up. Okay, I have my glue gun waiting and I've lost my pin. There it is, stuck to my red tape. Oh, I thought I almost had it there. 
it's already started to dry off. It's not too hot in here. It's 22 degrees Celsius. So it's not too bad at all. Okay, let's get this glued on. So I'm going to pop this one on first, just there in the center. It's gonna look a bit off center for you guys because well, I'm not directly underneath the camera for that. So I'm gonna use hot glue all the way around there. I'm gonna get this as central as I can possibly get it. I need to move over here again. You can decorate the bottom. I did get a bit of an oopsie there with the glue, but yeah, you can cover that up. You can decorate these however you want to. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit funny now, a bit close to the camera, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna get this on the top just here, like that. Um, yeah, I think I'll do it sideways. I will have a better angle then to see what I'm doing. Get that as central as possible. Hold it in place, and there we have our lantern. There we go, we're not finished yet. I'm sorry if this is turning out to be a bit of a long video, I'll try and edit it down as much as possible, but we need to add the foliage. Now I bought this from eBay, no not eBay, Amazon. If it's there still, I will, I will link it, and I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz scissors because they're jaggedy, you can cut thin pieces of wire. Now this was very, really inexpensive. It was round about six or seven pounds and there's quite a lot there. And the leaves are quite flat, uh, flattened. So we can just ruffle them up a little bit. There we go. And all we have to do is just twist this together or you can um, secure it with some glue, hot glue. There we go. And there is our lovely little wreath. That will look really nice on a gift box or on a card. You can have so much fun with this, decorating your house or making crafts. That is just going to be glued just to the bottom there. So I am just going to add... Oh, I need to add a refill because I can't press it down anymore. There we go. come out come on in you go okay I have to sort those strings out later just keep that in place it wants to move around so I think that's okay right let's zoom out a bit more I have to go diagonal. There we go. There is our beautiful lantern. Again, you can make these longer. You can stack them up. You can do a double strip if you want and join them together. Uh, to make a taller one, you can cut this down so that you can have a taller one and a shorter one. And this looks absolutely lovely just next to a lantern that's not on a pedestal either. So I absolutely love this. Everything that I've used today will be listed down below. I would love to see your make, so if you'd love to join my Facebook group, it's Paper Crafting with Helen Griffin. Information's just here. Um, please do join my group and share your makes because I absolutely love seeing um, all of your stuff that you've made, especially when you're trying out something new as well. There are so many people in there sharing things already and their makes are just so amazing. So I just wanna really thank you to everyone that's in that group who are sharing it's absolutely lovely to see your makes so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you again soon